Okay, in this video, I'm going to continue on with my tutorials bringing us from electromagnetism to optics. This is another video on our subsection of Maxwell's equations, and it's video number 10. Now, before I can actually continue discussing Maxwell's equations, we need to do a small bit of an interlude and do a small bit of mathematics. So this video is in preparation for when we're going to actually solve, mag or solve the uh, wave equation in a moment. So the previous videos to this are number 9, where I discussed the electromagnetic wave equation, and number 8, where I discussed Maxwell's equations and introduced them to you. So this is going to be very brief, and I'm just going to show you how we convert a times the cosine of theta plus b times the sine of theta into complex exponentials. And you might wonder, why do you need this? Well, in order to solve the wave equation, you need to be able to do it. So in a previous video in this particular section, I showed you how we convert uh, cosine and sine to complex exponentials using Euler's formula. So what we're going to do here is convert a constant, we'll say capital A, multiplied by cosine of theta, plus a constant, say capital B, multiplied by sine theta into complex exponentials. So let's, let's go ahead and do that. Well, first of all, we know that cosine is e to the i theta plus e to the minus i theta over 2. So I have a over 2 e to the i theta and a over 2 e to the minus i theta. Something similar, of course, happens at b. No problem like that. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to group the, the, uh, the constants together or the multiplicative constants for e to the i theta. So we have, we have them here. And I'm going to do the same thing for e to the minus i theta. So we have a over 2 minus b over 2i. Now the thing about this is that the two uh, sets of constants I've grouped in green are themselves a constant. So let's call them something else. I can call them anything I want, but I'm going to call them a bar and b bar. So what we can see is that a times cos theta plus b times sine theta is the same as another constant, say a bar e to the i theta plus b bar e to the minus i theta. So I'll be using this in our next video, or uh, t two videos from now, when I solve the wave equation. I will jump straight from a cos theta plus b sine theta to the complex exponential representation. So thanks for watching. Please pass it on to your friends, subscribe to my channel, and you might also give me a comment on the box below.